The paintwork is not particularly durable, it scratches easily, and chips quickly appear on the hood. But the galvanic layer of zinc on the outside is quite durable and even with chips down to metal this Fiesta does not rust for a long time. The car must be inspected very carefully for corrosion, since on most copies rust has been developing on the inside of the parts for a long time, not yet visible from the outside. Obvious pockets of rust can already be noticeable today at the junction of the threshold with the front and rear fenders and arches, at the bottom of the front fenders themselves. There may also be surprises inside the doors, primarily in the places where the outer panels are rolled. On some hatchbacks, corrosion occurs in the corners of the trunk, where water flows through loose joints of the roof panels. It is worth looking for rust under the hood on the weld seams of the front suspension cups, this is not a proprietary sore, such cases do occur. Against this background, the extensive rust on the bottom, which occurs due to weak factory anti-corrosion, looks like a trifle, you can even clean it off yourself. When choosing a car, do not forget to also look under the carpets in the cabin, where you can find a global threat of factory carpet that has leaked water. Beneath it, the floor is quietly but surely rusting. The plastic trim is soft, even on the doors, and of high quality, the materials are wear-resistant, but the sound insulation is average. There is not enough legroom for people taller than average, although the floor tunnel is small. There is enough headroom in the front, but it's worse in the back, and the width is frankly cramped for three adults. The L-shaped design of the lowering rear headrests is ambiguous, when lowered, they improve visibility astern, but in this position they rest against the rear passengers. Among the annoying problems in the cabin, auto mechanics name only the breakdown of the airflow control levers and the fan. I have good news for you. Now, if you are planning to buy a used car, or learn more about your car, you no longer need to search for the information you need on the internet. We have collected everything in one place for you, on the website carmi.pro. Here you can find out everything about the car, what brakes and at what mileage, any problems with engines, chassis or gearboxes, which trim levels are better not to mess with and how not to lose money buying a used car. You will learn all this on carm.pro. The sixth Fiesta has a rich range of power units, although petrol versions are most widespread, the most popular being the 1.25 liter engine. Perhaps in second place is the 1.6 liter diesel engine, less common are the 1.4 liter diesel engine and the famous three cylinder gasoline turbo liter, a 1.0 liter engine, 100 to 125 horsepower. Sedans and hatchbacks imported from America most often have a 1.6 liter gasoline engine, 105 horsepower. Many engines with minor modifications were borrowed from the predecessor model, these are naturally aspirated petrol Duratec units of 1.25, 1.4 and 1.6 liters and Duratorque turbo diesel units of 1.4 and 1.6 liters. Gasoline engines are time-tested and perfected by Ford designers, so they are quite reliable. Their timing belt is driven by a belt, which needs to be changed every 100,000 kilometers. This period is exclusively for the original consumable. During this procedure, you should also check and, if necessary, adjust the thermal clearances of the valves. Atmospheric gasoline engines on many Fiestas of the 2008 to 2017 generation are today close to the limit of their service life, which motorists define as 250 to 300,000 kilometers. But even earlier, the owner begins to be distracted by minor troubles such as a worn-out pump, torn cooling system pipes, oil leaks and jamming of deformed variable intake geometry dampers. The 1.0-liter EcoBoost engine in the Fiesta was used both with supercharging, 100 and 125 horsepower, and without, 65 and 80 horsepower. These units incorporate many progressive technical developments, an exhaust manifold with a cooling jacket extended from the cylinder head, three circles of the cooling system, a timing belt and an oil bath, balancing the operation of three cylinders due to an imbalance between the flywheel and the crankshaft pulley, a low inertia turbocharger. More interesting than the others, of course, is the turbo leader option, which, after its presentation in 2012, for several years collected the most prestigious prizes at world exhibitions and competitions as the most efficient, environmentally friendly, innovative, etc. 
The motor is quite durable and tenacious, but has several features that are expensive for the owner. It is difficult to change the timing belt, which, by the way, is bathed in the oil sump. The three-circuit cooling system requires constant monitoring, and the turbine, as you know, is not an eternal thing. Other specific problems, problems with starters, failure of the solenoid relay, and leakage of coolant from under the front engine cover, due to specific difficulties, it is better to replace it at a branded service station. Fiesta turbo diesels, although assigned to the same Duratorque family, differ from each other. In particular, the 1.5-liter unit that appeared after restyling turned out to be the least reliable. The oldest 1.6-liter diesel engine in its early version, without variable turbine geometry, gets good recommendations from motorists, although 1.6-liter engines experience premature, after 100,000 kilometers, oil burn due to wear of the cylinder piston groups. The belt of these diesel engines can withstand about 200,000 kilometers, and hydraulic compensators are used in the cylinder head. The common rail diesel power system is not particularly durable expensive fuel injectors fail. Closer to 200,000 kilometers, problems with turbines appear. All Fiestas are front-wheel drive. There are three types of transmissions to choose from, traditional mechanics and automatic, as well as a robotic power shift manual transmission with two clutches. Most often we see petrol versions of the Fiesta paired with a traditional manual transmission. Oddly enough, the most problem-free was not the simple mechanics, but the Japanese-made automatic transmission. The Ford robot is more reliable than a similar box from the VW concern. The peculiarity of its operation is jerking when starting to move. If they become too strong, it is necessary to carry out the so-called clutch adaptation at a company service station, which requires ref flashing the ECU. And most of the characteristic problems were identified in the MCP. Leaks in the axle shaft seals and gear shift rod are noted here. Moreover, if the loss of lubrication is not noticed in a timely manner, this can lead to failure of the fifth gear due to insufficient oil level, it suffers first of all. By 80,000 km, the support bearing of the right axle shaft, namely the right one, may become unusable. The specificity of the clutch operation, it is hydraulically driven, but that's not the point, at idle engine speed you can hear the noise of the release bearing, which disappears when the clutch is engaged. The Fiesta's chassis is one of its strong points. It matches the dynamic appearance of the model, it holds the car well on a given trajectory even during active driving and is quite comfortable at the same time. This driving style is also facilitated by the fairly sharp, 2.6 turns, steering. An important advantage of the suspension is high reliability. On our roads, during normal operation, it is often necessary to change only the stabilizer struts every 60 to 80,000 kilometers. At the same time, its bushings, silent blocks of levers and ball joints of the front suspension are capable of withstanding a mileage of 150 to 200,000 kilometers. The rubber bands on the rear beam also last for at least 200,000 kilometers. The place that requires monitoring is the spline connection of the steering shaft in the area of its emergency folding in the event of an accident. An H-related nuance is the characteristic clicks that appear when the steering wheel is turned. During the restyling at the end of 2012, this unit was modernized, eliminating the problem. At the same time, steering consumables last up to 200,000 kilometers. The brakes on most Fiesta 6 models are ventilated discs at the front and drums at the rear. Disc mechanisms were offered only to order and came standard on the charged ST version. There are no complaints about the reliability of the brakes, but the drum brakes need regular maintenance. If they are not cleaned of dust and rust every 60 to 80,000 kilometers, they will ask for help by squeaking every time they brake. The 6th generation Ford Fiesta is a good opportunity for a motorist to get a modern car, high quality, practical and very interesting in terms of handling. But at the same time, there are already enough shabby copies in the country that will regularly empty the owner's wallet. Therefore, be careful when purchasing Fiesta's generally good reputation can play a cruel joke on you.